All right, so I spent a good amount of time yesterday searching the internet trying to solve my problem, and we were unable to really find a good answer or a video about the answer. So even though this isn't generally virtualization, it is Linux, and I thought it would be a great video to make for you. So if we open Terminal here and we type in IPA, you can see that I have a few different VLANs set up here. Well, let me take you through the steps of how I got VLAN set up on Pop! OS. So the first thing here we need to do here on Pop! OS to start setting up VLANs is to click up here on Applications. Then we're going to head over to the Systems folder, and we're going to open the Advanced Network Configurations. Now here's the Network Configuration screen, and mine's altered a little bit because I've already gone ahead and set up those VLANs that you saw previously. So what we're going to need to do to set up VLAN 40 now is to hit this plus icon, and at this screen, we're going to select the drop down and we're going to select VLANs. Then we're going to press create. For our parent interface, we're going to check our network adapter. And you can see this VLAN connection one here, which is on VLAN 30, has already been assigned to this parent adapter. Now, your parent adapter is probably not going to be named the same as mine. I've seen various different names over times for parent adapters, anything from ETH to ENS to ENP. Uh, I read somewhere once that it was all due to the driver that was being used for your particular network adapter. So choose your parent adapter, and then we're going to choose our VLAN ID. Now in my case, the VLAN that I want to add here is 40, so I'm just going to type in 40 for VLAN ID. I don't need to add a name, but if I wanted to, I could. And we don't need to clone a MAC address, we can just use the MAC address of our current adapter. That's fine for our configuration. But no, these options are here if you need to use them for your configuration. We're also going to head over here to IPv4, and if I needed to create a manual address, say I was doing some management work or something on a connection that didn't have a DHCP server, I could choose manual here. And then I'd press add, and I could fill in my address, my mask, and my gateway. For me, we're go I'm going to use DHCP here, so I'm just going to press save. Now, after I save that connection, the next thing I like to do is just give a quick unplug and replug of my Ethernet cable into the back of my system to go ahead and reset my connection. Now, when we go to terminal, we can enter IPA, and you see our VLAN 30 and our VLAN 40 that we just set up. So it's really that easy to set up VLANs on Pop! OS. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to help VE continue to grow and bring great educational content to YouTube. Have a good night.